We're here at the Sunken Gardens, which is a botanical garden in the middle of St. Petersburg, Florida. It's over 100 years old and home to over 50,000 plants. Come check it out with us. The Four Acre Botanical Paradise dates all the way back to 1903 and is believed to be the oldest commercial tourist attraction on Florida's west coast. The gardens were purchased by the city of St. Pete in 1999 and designated as a local historic landmark. While the Sunken Gardens is certainly the most well-known botanical attraction in the St. Pete area, there is another great option for plant lovers just a few miles away. Be sure to watch until the end where we'll give you a bonus tour of that spot as well. The palm trees here are huge. Oh, there's a cute little bridge right there. I wonder if the squirrels go across it. Upon entering the gardens, we found ourselves immediately marveling at the size of the palm trees, along with this pretty Amazon parrot. Well, I would probably take a nap too if I was right next to this water feature. Oh, I see your eye open. We'll let you keep relaxing. Another water feature and look at these. We used to have these in our backyard. There's a giant mossy oak. We love these trees. Oh, I hear some more birds. So they have laughing kookaburrs here. They are native to Australia. We have not yet heard them laugh here today though. Make a joke, Jamie. <laughs> I'm not that funny. Ooh. Here's some macaws. Hi. So we got one, two, three, four, five. That's cool that you all get to live together. Hi. What you doing? This says, my name is Beaker. I'm the red macaw and I like to dance. If you hum or sing a tune and sway to the rhythm, you might get me going. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi, buddy. Hi. Next to the macaws are the flamingos. They have Chilean flamingos here. I've never heard a flamingo make a sound before. That's cool. So this is interesting. This says that they can live up to 60 years old. Wow. And it looks like the Sunken Gardens has had a flock of flamingos since 1957. We also learned that Chilean flamingos are one of six species of flamingos worldwide, and they're identified by their black-tipped bills. We also found it interesting that flamingos are extremely social birds. They're often seen in dense packs in the wild, and in captivity, they're known for being very friendly and developing remarkable bonds with their caretakers. Sunken gardens get their name for being located below the land surrounding it. The St. Pete Sunken Gardens, in particular, are actually located below sea level, on the side of a former sinkhole lake which was drained over 100 years ago. The gardens also include this beautiful open lawn area known as the Wedding Lawn, which serves as one of St. Pete's most popular outdoor wedding venues and can host weddings of up to 200 guests. They have an actual starfruit tree here. Uh, they're yellow, you might not be able to see them though but we can see some on the tree. After an hour or so at the property, we both agreed that we could easily spend several more relaxing and exploring the gardens. Do you feel more tranquil? I felt tranquil all day. <laughs> so this is the Sunken Gardens Growing Stone. Legend has it that he who sits upon the ancient stone shall be granted tranquility, inner harmony, and the talent to make things grow. 
<laughs> what are we gonna grow? <laughs> to be determined. Hmm. How can you not feel at peace whenever you're surrounded by all of this? <laughs> This area is full of bamboo. Another peaceful area to hang out at. I'm sorry, I don't have any food for you. We noticed some people who appeared to be tossing food into the koi pond during our visit. We do believe that fish food may be available to be purchased at the gardens, but we didn't see where this could be done during our limited time. So we want to share a little bit about our experience so far. It was $12 per adult to enter, and we think it's worth it. And it's a really hot day in Florida, but it's been surprisingly cool here. It's very well shaded, and we only have a couple hours to spend here today, but we could easily spend much longer. This is a really pretty area of the path. It's all pretty though, let's be honest. After enjoying our time viewing the birds and the fish, we were on a mission to find a turtle. More specifically, a giant alligator snapping turtle, who we later found out to be named Max. <laughs> we think we found the turtle, but it also could be a rock. We had multiple people weigh in and we think that he's just sleeping. So the turtle's really mm -hmm. blending in, but he's down that way. Yeah. And he's going right. under. Are looking at me. I'm going down. It's like they found me. After spending some time with Max, we were happy to come across another, much more social turtle. I think he likes the camera. This is the people pleaser right here. There's several others <laughs> way back there, just chilling. And then the baby's over there. Oh, you can see the baby's better over here. There they are. Hi, babies. Oh, the top of this is just full of roots. And it looks so cool. We had allowed ourselves two hours at the sunken gardens and realized that after an hour and a half, we still had much more of the gardens to explore. As we rushed to see the rest of the gardens, we found another beautiful lawn area before arriving at this amazing cactus garden. We took in the last bit of this beautiful area before moving on to our next stop, the Gisela Copsic Arboretum. But first, we had to grab some food, and lucky for us, Tripp's Diner was less than a mile away. We arrived at Trips, ready to enjoy some delicious food and happy to get a break from that hot afternoon sun. Alright, we got the smoked Gouda burger with barbecue and bacon and a special orzo salad. There you go, dear. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. You're very welcome. And Skylar, we got the Nugan. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Ready? I would recommend this burger. <laughs> Development of the Arboretum began in 1976 on a two-acre site which had previously been home to a miniature golf course. The Arboretum is named after Gisela Kopsik, whose gift of stock was instrumental in the creation of the Arboretum. The park was dedicated to Miss Kopsik in 1977 on her 100th birthday. So we're here at the Arboretum and it is home to over 500 palm trees and cycads representing 150 different species. Yeah, we've only been here a few minutes and we've already also seen a bunch of birds, butterflies, and some really tame squirrels. We're going to go check out a few other areas in the Arboretum, so come check them out with us. Over there, 
This is much bigger than I thought it was. Mm -hmm. So this particular palm tree here was thought to have been extinct and it was rediscovered. It is native to the Vanuatu Islands in the South Pacific. The Coptic Arboretum is located in North Shore Park in downtown St. Pete, and it's free to the public. So this palm definitely caught our eye. It's called the root spine palm, and as you would expect, it is very spiny. There's a whole nother section of trail over this way too. Oh, and another perk of visiting here is it is right on the bay. You can see the water over there. There are some volleyball courts. There's some people out playing volleyball today. We found another one of these cycads with an orange thing growing out of it. It's really cool. Also native to South Africa. So I guess just another reason we should go visit our friends in South Africa. We have to admit, before visiting the Arboretum, neither of us had any clue what a cycad actually was. We soon found out that while cycads somewhat resemble short-trunked palm trees, they're not closely related. We learned that they're an extremely old group of plants that are known to have been present at least 280 million years ago, and to have been most abundant when dinosaurs roamed the earth. As any of you who are familiar with St. Pete know, the Sunken Gardens and the Copsic Arboretum are just two of a seemingly endless amount of activities to enjoy in the St. Pete area. If you're interested in seeing more things to do, we recommend checking out our Top 10 St. Pete video. We'll make sure to put a link to that video in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and let us know in the comments. If you're interested in more Tampa Bay area content, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on. Thanks for watching!